During the merger, the increased gravity will force the gas to concentrate in the center of the new galaxy in formation. This should lead to a period of intense star formation. The gas, by rushing into these newly formed black holes, will feed it, transforming it into an active galaxy. The violence of these interactions will probably push the solar system into the outer halo of the new galaxy, leaving it relatively unaffected by the radiation from these collisions. It would be wrong to believe that this collision can disrupt the orbits of planets within the solar system. While it is true that the gravity of passing stars can detach planets into interstellar space, the distance between stars are so great that the probability that the collision of the Milky Way and Andromeda will cause disruption to a given star system is negligible. Although the solar system as a whole may be affected by these events, the Sun and planets should not be disturbed. However, over time, the cumulative probability of a chance encounter with a star increases, and disturbance of the planets becomes virtually inevitable. Assuming that the Big Crunch or Big Rip scenario heralding the end of the universe does not occur, calculations indicate that the gravity of passing stars will have completely stripped the dead sun of its remaining planets within 1 million billion years. This point then marks the end of our solar system. Although the Sun and planets may survive, the solar system as we understand it will cease to exist, leaving room for a new cycle in a new molecular cloud in a galaxy far, far away.